Welcome to No Wine in No Time. I'm your host Dave and today we'll talk about the complex classifications of wine in the area of Bordeaux, France. So understanding this, you have to understand a little bit about how this all got started. Back prior to 1855, Emperor Napoleon III was trying to showcase France's epic wines at the Exposition Universale de Paris that was to take place in 1855. Knowing that Bordeaux was a very important region for the French, he wanted to focus on that area, but he didn't have a way of classifying the wines. So he employed the services of various wine brokers who analyzed the wines based on the chateau's reputation and the prices of the wines. The end result was the classification of 1855. And what that did was that broke down the wines of Bordeaux into five specific growth classes, or crews, as the French would call it. So there was first growth through fifth growth, uh, really a complex system. And in the top level of growth, there was only five wines total in that category, and that was Chateau Lafitte, Chateau Latour, Chateau Margaux, Chateau Mouton, and Chateau Haute-Briand. So of those five epic vintners, you had four of them were actually in the Madoc and one from Graves. What that did was that started to make other vintners that made exceptional wines in the Madoc a little bit uncomfortable, thinking maybe there was some collusion going on. Um, they wanted to seek a different type of classification. Well, those debates went on for some period of time, and finally, the Chamber of Commerce and the Chamber of Agriculture for Bordeaux got together and said we can do something a little bit different and they come up with a classification called Cru Bourgeois and that actually started in 1932. So Cru Bourgeois was a way to recognize a high quality wine that wasn't in those upper growth classes established in 1855. When 2003 that was revisited and in typical French fashion they made it more complex. Cru Bourgeois now had three different categories. It was Exceptional, Superior, and Bourgeois. So they took something that was fairly simple and made it complex. So, in 2007, a French high court stepped in and said, no more Cru Bourgeois. We're doing, with, doing away with it completely. And it's also going to be illegal to use it. So, that was for a very short period of time. In 2010, Cru Bourgeois was back, and finally the playing field was leveled in the area of the Madoc. So where is Madoc exactly? That is the area from Bordeaux City all the way to the end of the uh, Gironde River on the left bank. So basically what happens now is any vintner can apply for Cru Bourgeois status. It's completely reinvented, and there is a group called Bureau Veritas, and this is an independent third party that will go in and actually inspect your facility to make sure you're complying with the Cru Bourgeois tradition, and also will blind taste your wine, among others, to make sure that the quality is high enough. And if, and only if, after the inspection and the quality check, your wine is is deemed to be of sufficient quality, you can bear the Cru Bourgeois uh, designation. So, that made everybody in the region happy, and today it allows some of the people who weren't part of the 1855 classification to participate at a much higher level. So we're going to actually sample a Cru Bourgeois uh, wine today, and this is from Chateau Malmaison, and Chateau Malmaison is actually from Baron Nadine de Rothschild, so this is from the famous Rothschild family that's so important to Bordeaux. This wine comes from Molise in Medoc. And unlike most left bank Bordeaux, this one is actually 80% Merlot and 20% Cabernet Sauvignon. So we've poured it. Let's take a look at the wine itself. So this particular wine is significantly dark. Uh, you actually can't see through it. Very deep, deep purple. And the aromas 
Wow, the aromas are really quite mature. There's certainly some wood in there, a uh, little bit of cedar, a little bit of oaky aromas, and then the fruit comes through with a little bit of plum, uh, some blackberry, and maybe just a little bit of black raspberry. The flavors? The flavors are also quite mature. I failed to mention, this is a 2009 uh, Cru Bourgeois, so it has a little bit of age on it. Um, really nice mature flavors of, of blackberry, um, definitely some, some vanilla and toast from the oak. Uh, very smooth with a nice tannic grip on the back side of this wine. Uh, really an exceptional wine and uh, uh, certainly demonstrates uh, the Cru Bourgeois name. So that's all the time we have for today. I'm going to enjoy this Chateau Malmaison, and next time we'll see you, and soon you'll know wine in no time. Thank you.